guys welcome back to no catchy name it's me ella today that you're seeing this is sunday may 8th but oh it's mother's day happy mother's day <laughs> uh but i'm actually filming it on friday because i have time so this is some happy mother i got for my birthday i just wanted to share with you guys real quick so this first package is from janelle she sent me a few things over the years and i appreciate all of it and actually jesse's his stuffed animal that she sent is right there on the floor <laughs> it's a big dinosaur that has pockets all over it and you can put stuff in and june's is in there with her other little dolls that people gave her waiting for her to get old enough to play with them but anyway so here's the card that she sent it's really pretty um yarn ball that looks like earth which is really cool i've seen a few people get these and i think it's so cool i guess she made these it's like they're nice but she's got a nice little note in there and she wished me and jesse both a happy birthday but that's the card so whoops that's the angle of the card them. so for jesse i'll show these she sent him two little books and he loves these sticker books we have a national geographic one that we finished that was reptiles and amphibians. So we finished that and we had a lot of fun going through it. We did a few pages every few days, reading and talking about the animals and then him doing the little activities. And I, I, we actually liked that so much that I went and bought two more. I got the one about space and the one about ocean animals. And then I have the rest of them on our Amazon wish list, so that I can go back and buy them. As we finish them, I can buy the other ones because there's so many of them, but anyways. I digress. This one is a Lego one, which he loves. And it's Lego City, and it's got over a thousand stickers in it. So, it's got, like, activity pages and, like, information about Legos and stuff. And then it's got all kinds of stickers. Well, I can't get any of them. They're flipping every other page, but they got stickers on them. <laughs> lots and lots of Lego stickers. So, those are super cute. And now he'll love that. He's already seen these. I just kept them to record just have to put that there and this next one is another lego one it's dinosaurs on the run i think this is a coloring book yeah so it's a dinosaur coloring book an activity book and it's got some stickers in it as well i don't know if it's got yeah it's got more on the back and it's got all the answers to the little eh, whatever they're called activities so that was for jesse and then she sent some stuff for me so she sent this little yarn kit which i've seen someone made this recently i can't remember who but it's a darn good yarn uh, peacock stuffed animal kit so it's got all the stuff in there to make um the little peacock so that's so cute i'll definitely have to do that and then she sent me one of the sesame street line brand yarns and this one is called abby cadabby <laughs> and uh it's number four worsted so it's got abby on it i'm definitely gonna make something for june with this obviously i'm assuming that's why she sent it that's so cute <laughs> um uh, so 95 yards, 100% polyester. I love this color. It's so pretty. <laughs> and then she also sent me this really cool journal. I've seen people with these too. I can't remember who made this. It's some, it's a YouTuber that a crocheter actually makes these. But I can't remember off the top of my head who it was. But it's a crochet journal. Really pretty. Someone I just seen recently bought a bunch of these and gave some away. So it's got a page on the front where you can put your name and then it's got um a conversion chart for hook sizes which is handy and then it's got like a abbreviations chart and it's got where you can put your own in index in here so you can remember where your projects are and then all the project pages has a place for a picture it's got where you got the pattern the yarn yardage where you bought the yarn from gauge hook the finished dimensions um, uh, please take care of this property project by, I don't know what that means, <laughs> uh, the changes you made, you can write on there, uh, who you learned the project from, and it's got a note section, and then it's got, you put a yarn sample and the label down there, so it's got a bunch of those, and then in the back, the last few pages is just notes pages, so that's really cool, but that is awesome, I'll definitely be using that. All right, so that was from Janelle. <laughs> I got interrupted. I need somewhere to put my glasses. And Jesse's room, I don't want to put anything. Okay, put them over. <laughs> I'm gonna forget them there and I'm gonna be looking for them everywhere. So the next package I got today from my friend, my good friend, make sure it's not okay. Phyllis, look at it, it's a good size box. Her birthday was just recently. I sent her a bag that I made and she sent me this. Now I figured this was gonna be from her because it was from New Hampshire, which is where she lives, but it was from a different area she's it's not maybe it is maybe i was wrong oh i was thinking of her other like her beach house 
See, I'm just confused. But anyway, she sent me a bag of goodies. A box of goodies. So let me bring down in here. Get the card. She's a paper crafter. She makes a lot of pretty things with uh, paper. <laughs> That's what paper crafting is. So she made me this really cute card. It's got tulips on it. And there's like a little window there. And then she wrote me a note in there. But she put it on a sticky now, I guess, so that I could reuse the card. <laughs> Which is nice. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it. Because she sent it to me. But inside the box was this bag that had the stuff in it. But I deconstructed it. So it's like a... She probably got this at like Michael's or Joanne's. Those are like the bags that's up at the front when you check out, you know. With sewing notions on it. Can never have too many of those. And then she sent me some goodies. Get it all out of here. Try not to make a mess. Okay. So she sent me this is like a remnant of like a mesh. It's like the stuff you make sponges with and I think it's because we were just recently talking about um I sent her a picture or a video of a Pinterest or a TikTok I can't remember which one it was of people making sewn um like sponges scrubby things and uh I think that's why she sent me this but it's like a um remnant from Joanne's of it's like uh I don't know what it's called is it nylon it says on here, matte knit eggnog. I guess that's the color. 100% <laughs> nylon. I don't know what this stuff's called. The scrubby stuff that's on like sponges. <laughs> Sass stuff. So I'm assuming she sent that because I sent her that clip. And um, now I can make some of those. I would not have known what to look for. I would have to have been just looking around Joanne's if I ever went. And then she sent me some yarn that I have been wanting to try. I was so excited when I opened it and saw this. So she sent me four balls of the Premier Sweet Row Fruits. She sent me two in lime. I should have opened it. There. Lime color. I've been wanting some yarn so bad. It's 174 yards each ball. And it's number four worsted. And it's 100% acrylic. So that's a pretty uh, lime cutaway. Got two of those. And then she also sent, I think this one's grapefruit. Pink grapefruit. Which same stats. Yeah, I'm so excited. I want all of it. Like it's such a pretty yarn. I have no idea what I'm gonna make with it, but now that I got it, I can try to figure that out. And then she also sent Premier Butterfly, which I hadn't even never even heard of. It's got 546 yards in each cake. So it's like a number three. Yeah, it's a number three, hundred percent anti peeling acrylic. And yeah, I think that's everything. The colorway is called Blue Skies. So it's got a lot of white. And then it's got purples and blues over here. I wonder how this works. Uh, or there's the, uh, so there's like a big chunk of white and then there's the other colors. That's interesting. I'm going to have to look up projects that people made with this. That's really cool. This would be a really pretty shawl or something. But there's that. I've never even heard of this yarn, so that was really cool. But she themed this because this was butterfly. And then she sent me, because I love Bath Body Works and she knows that. She sent me Bath and Body Works hand soap that is butterfly. And also a hand cream. What is this? Yeah, hand cream. That is the butterfly uh, scent. And then also the hand sanitizer, which I haven't even smelled yet. Oh, it smells good. What does it say that its scent comes from? Raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. It smells good. I was just, she was said that she didn't know if it smelled good or not, but it does. And then she also sent me this cute little button. This is Lydia from Beetlejuice. So that's perfect. <laughs> I love anything Tim Burton and I, I especially love Beetlejuice. So that's Lydia right there. I wonder where she got this. I'll have to ask her where she got that from. It doesn't say. And then lastly, she sent me a half a yard each, I think, of some fabric. One was butterflies. It's upside down. <laughs> and then one with polka dots. So I'm gonna make me myself a project bag out of this. Probably one of my big zipper bags, I think. And maybe a Magic Notion pouch, because this is it's like half a yard, so it's a big piece of fabric. And it's folded double. So there's two sides of it right there. 
So I have enough to make myself a project bag and probably a notions pouch. Oops. So that's really awesome. I love that so much. I'm gonna have to message her and ask her where she got this button. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the two packages that I got for mine and then Jesse's birthday. And I'm super appreciative. I already talked to Phyllis. I talk to her every day, <laughs> pretty much. So, and um, so thank you, Janelle, for that. I've had that one for a few days. I was just waiting to record when I had a chance. I'm trying to throw all that. I have a bunch of buttons that I've been saving that people sent me and I bought from Crochet Luna. And I wanted to make Amigurumi, like a monster or something. Something with a big flat stomach to put all my buttons on. Make it like a button monster is what I was thinking. Or like a turtle, maybe a button turtle. And I could put the buttons all over his shells. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Um, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. But anyways, that's my little presents I got for my birthday. Uh, I did get two plants from the kids for Mother's Day. I got a Swiss cheese plant, which is the Monastera that I've been wanting forever. And I also got a string of pearls, which I've also been wanting forever. And it's already starting to grow more. Like, it's got more little uh, growth on it. And I'm so excited. I want to grow it big and then propagate it and have multiple ones. <laughs> uh, that's my plan. And, yeah. And then we went out to eat. Today we went to get, we picked up to go because of the baby. And we ended up sitting in the car and eating because she ended up needing a diaper change. So we just decided to just, we changed our diaper and then we just sat in the car to eat. The, the three of us uh, that eat food. <laughs> and uh, it was fun. But yeah, so I'm going to hop off here and get this up for you guys. And I will see you in some more videos coming up this next week. I can't believe it's already May. It's crazy. Time is flying. Uh, we're already one-fourth of the way through the month, the year. It's crazy. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and clear out my mess because I'm in Jesse's room and now i got crochet stuff everywhere <laughs> that i got to pick up. But I will hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.